This is the big one, right? This is the big one. And I think that your prediction about the partnership, that's the big thing because they're going to see this. They're going to watch this. And you can see everybody already changing their mind. So we've got uh, Ashok Alaswamy dropping this. Version 13.2 has started rolling out to limited external customers. Uh, this is on Thanksgiving, which is when they were promising this would happen. This is the, the big list. They've already explained a lot of this already. Um, what's your thought about uh, this list of the features? Yeah, I mean, this is the first, you know, release on the new Cortex cluster. There's higher parameter counts. Uh, there's this call out I have, maybe we'll talk about a bit later, about the fleet communicating with each other so that other cars, other Teslas, you know, can drive better and avoid right, yeah. uh, incidents, avoid mm -hmm. obstacles. This is now, you know, it already, I mean, the solution Tesla was doing was already superior. It's just a matter of of execution and, and, and getting the, the performance up. But now you have this kind of feature in there where the, you know, the fleets community, and it's, it's actually improving the driving conditions for all other drivers around it. This is just the beginning. This is just the seed of things that they can do uh, with the, with the fleet communicate. So uh, to me, this, this is starting to elevate it to almost, you know, more superhuman in terms of a capability. Now, obviously it's got to, you know, it's got to get the intervention rate down to a level, um, you know, where, where, where that would make sense. But the, 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 you see the feature set that's being built up and being deployed here. I mean, this is, I mean, this was stunning what I, and, and there's more to come in the ensuing, uh, 13 point XX releases where they're going to be bringing more, more of these features in. And it's really becoming, you know, to the point of you press a button to leave and you go, you're going now really from point to point. They're really, they're really deep. Now the, the, the big call outs I saw were it's really dealing with that first few feet of your drive starting. And then that last few feet of your drive ending in a much more elegant manner and a much more automated manner. You're not touching anything. The other big takeaway I saw from all the videos, if I kind of piece them all together and I watch them all. And again, thank you to these early, you know, the, the early um, users on FSD get this release, get in their cars, they drive, they record it, they provide their own analysis and they get the videos up really quickly. Hats off to them. The, the, when I stitched everything kind of together, one of the things, and I don't hear it being called out a lot, is that the the confidence in the driving maneuvers has is increased significantly? How the car turns, how it how it leaves from a stop, these are things that are really important in terms of the driving experience becoming more human, becoming more like you drove, so it can just replace more and more of your drives. And I tell this all the time. Last year, a year ago on B eleven, I was probably using FSD, you know, thirty percent of the time. And now it's, it's over 90% of my drives. I, it, my first inclination is to, you know, is to put the destination in and just use FSD and let the car drive. So it's literally flipped in a year's time and that's on 12.563. So in my, in summary, lots of hu huge features. This is on court being at, this is now on Cortex and the confidence and the driving have, have really gone to a whole new level. And it's now, you know, completely automated end to end. All right. Let's go and let's go and watch uh, one of these first videos here. This is Dirty Tesla Speechless as FSD 13.2 drives my wife and I to GameStop and then backs into a parking spot. Let's take a look at uh, what he's saying here. All right. I'll just edit our. Oh, what? oh, okay. what? 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 Oh, what the? What? <laughs> okay. I can say I did not expect okay, that. It picked a great parking spot too. Like, cause it's right there. Uh, I'm kind of speechless. And it backed in. It's going to put it in park here. <laughs> this is so cool. Holy crap. Wow. Um, all right. I didn't expect that. Um, okay. Well, it took us to our destination and then beautifully backed into a parking spot in one move. That was insane. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? Well, first off, Dirty Tesla's in Michigan. And sometimes people think of the, these efforts, they're all being uh, centered in you know the Bay Area or California. 
he's in Michigan. You know, Chuck Cook's in Florida. Omar's in California. We have people all over the country testing this. And this is, to me, this really speaks to, this is a production solution and it's going to scale. It's going to work everywhere. And the fact that now, you know, these early releases are, are getting out and, you know, people from all over the country can try it and have these equivalent, really good experiences, you know, right from the get go. I, I've heard this for the last couple of years of like, oh, I, I think it drives better in California. I never really, it, the way the system was designed, I never really thought that that was kind of a thing. I thought this, you know, this, you know, I, anyway, I, and, and what you're seeing now with these, with these, um, the kind of the early data we're seeing is that it can do these special things everywhere. So this is great. This is just a more automated experience. You, before you'd arrive to your desk, you'd, you'd navigate to a destination, you know, here in the strip mall and the car would kind of just leave itself in the middle. And now it's just, you know, it's finishing the job and now it's parking near the, the entrance of the destination you gave it. So this is all to me, part of the robo taxi experience. Mm -hmm. Here's another, um, video here. This is from AI driver reversing out of a parking spot. doesn't seem so uh, exciting, but what this represents is that it means that it can actually, um, right? It means that it can actually uh, just press a button. Just waiting for that car to come out. Gotcha. I was wondering why it's took taking so long. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, we we have two eyes in our head, and we have got pretty decent peripheral vision, and we've got mirrors in the car. We have these mechanical things, where you know, to give us you know sight behind us or on the side. The car has the eight cameras. They're on the whole time, the whole time. So you're going to get experience. How many, how many fender benders, how many things occur in parking lots, like busy parking lots like this. And now you've got it where it can reverse out of spots. It can look for people, you know, and it, the eight cameras are on all the time being fed data and making decisions. 